Ziggurat is a lot like life. You enter a dungeon and you fight enemies. Just like in life where you go and fight for what you believe in. Sometimes your opponents are cute little carrots who you can easily dispatch. Other times, it's a giant motherfucking pool of lava and you fall in and you fail. But you know what? You fucking get up and you keep fucking going and you fucking use the default character and you fucking beat the goddamn game. That's what you do. I'm Lupito and welcome back to fucking Let's Play Goddamn Ziggurat where today I will probably die to a fucking wall because I'm bad at this game. Um, so right off the bat we're gonna get a fucking grenade. That's good. That'll help me fucking hit myself or something. Hey, you know what? Fuck you. There you go. See, look, I killed something. I feel better. I'm, I'm in a bad mood today. Um, why? Well, because I'm not in a good one. And that's about as complicated as that gets. Um, I, I, I would say that I have issues and I'm like bipolar or something, but that'd be like dishonest. And it would make people like, Oh, you're bipolar? Oh, oh that explains a lot. No, it doesn't, dumbass, because I'm not. So fuck you. Um, this is an angry episode. I'm already pissed off. I don't even know why I'm pissed off. There's a fucking carrot chasing me. Oh, look. A neon green. Oh, and a neon red. Do you know what? Hi, Dodo. You fucking Dodo. That's why you're... That's See, that's the thing. When I turn this game off, I'm a fucking success at life, right? But even if this game's off, those enemies, they're fucking Dodos. No matter what the fuck, they're still gonna be Dodos. Unless Milkstone Studio, like, wants to troll me and be like, eh, no, never mind take him out of the game, but that'd be a tragedy, these dodos are awesome. Leveling up, we have increase your staff mana pool or high stakes with the reaper. Well, I'm close to full health, so I don't want it halved because I'm an idiot. I don't have a fucking staff, but we'll increase that mana pool anyway in case I find one. <laughs> As I choke on my words. Hope I choke and die, that would be awesome. So, I went to Wendy's today because I needed some something, the fuck? I went to Wendy's today because I needed something really quick, and they're like, Oh, welcome to Wendy's, sir. Would you like to try a bro Broda Groda chicken? I was like, okay. So I get this fucking Groda Moda chicken, or whatever the fuck it's called. And okay, it's like, fucking, there, there's like lettuce on my chicken sandwich. I mean, I could have fucking made a salad out of it. And then there's some slimy green sauce. Maybe that's what the fuck they were advertising to me. I don't know. I'm fucking dumb. I eat expensive restaurant food. I don't know anything about this cheap-ass grow to boda shit. So I fucking take a bite out of it, feeling like I'm eating fucking snot. And it's like, wow, spicy chicken filet. I'm not fighting the boss yet. Go fuck yourself if you don't like it. Um, spicy chicken filet as I bunny hop over electric shockwave. With fucking green sauce that tastes like fucking... I don't know, it's like... Ah, it was so gross. So I don't eat that, and then I go and try the Dr. Pepper, and that shit is flatter than a fucking five-year-old pit. I mean, fucking shit is flat, bitter, right? And <laughs> so, I'm like, okay, well, fuck that, let me eat some french fries. Um, hello, whoever's salting the fries at Wendy's? Dear fucking fucking 17-year-old douchebag, right? Your fries are too motherfucking salty. Stop putting so much goddamn salt on it. I know they probably didn't train you, and they're paying you less than you'll fucking, like, ever make. If that, that doesn't even make any sense, but the point is, they're fucking paying you nothing. But there's no goddamn reason to make my fucking fries salty, okay? It's not my goddamn fault. Shit, man. Fucking salty ass. <coughs> oh. You hear that? I'm fucking joking. Because I ate those fries, and the and the salt is, is 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 still fucking killing me. Like that's how bad they were. So fucking Sir Arthur here is who we're fighting. That's our boss. I barely have any health, but I made it. I don't give a fuck. I'm better than this boss. This boss can suck my goddamn dick if it can find it. Uh, increase your alchemy, sure. Yeah, if it can find it, I can't even find my dick. I went to jack off the other day. It's like, I'm going to the bathroom to take a nice massive shit, but all you end up doing is farting. Yeah, that's how I felt, but, you know, that's okay. 
we all have dreams and aspirations, and I'm going to plug Viagra on this channel as soon as it helps me, but so far it's been struggling. Okay, so we're on floor two now, in case you're not watching and just listening, and um, we're fighting Green Acid Spitting Horse, which is kind of okay by me, because this isn't really a hard enemy. If I had the shotgun, it would be fucking cake, because I could fucking kill all of them in one goddamn hit, but, you know, instead... I'm gonna fucking try to pick up the experience while taking stupid amounts of damage. Uh, the grenade takes out a couple at a time. You know, assuming I can hit them. I, I really want to fucking level up. I One of these leveling up cards needs to be good for, for me to feel like we have a chance to make it any further than floor 3 of this game. Where, of course, if you watched the last video, that, that was completely my fault that we didn't get anywhere. We were doing fine, and then I was like, Oh, look, it's fucking trap room. Let's see what's on the other side. And, um... I don't need health. We're gonna attract items from a further distance. And, um, of course, when we finally made it to... The item on the other side in one of those rooms, we found it was nothing useful. And then we tried it again, and I fell in lava and fucking died like a bitch. Like, you know... Like, that's what you should say to your next ex girlfriend. I hope you fall in lava and die like a bitch. That might be brutal. I, I wouldn't say that to anyone unless I meant it, which, I mean, I wouldn't mean to say that to anyone unless they were in front of me because with, with internet trolling, they have to be in front of you. You can't do it behind a keyboard or else people think you're a fake. And um, that's just not good for business. Like, you can't build a brand being a fake. It's like you can't sell fucking chicken sandwiches and french fries with fucking salt and green slime on them. It just doesn't work. Well, apparently it works for Wendy's. You ever see that chick on the commercial, that, that girl who's supposedly Wendy? Like, that bitch is like, okay, she's a cute little redhead. Like, I would fucking break her in half, but, you know, after she eats some more Wendy's and gains, like, two more pounds, maybe I won't. But then you go look, and you look on Google, and you're like, Wendy's Wendy, right? First thing you get is a fucking pig-looking motherfucker, like, is that the bacon they use on their bacon sandwich, or no, that's just Wendy. Wow, I'm mean. I am so mean. I feel so bad for that poor woman now. Well, no, I don't. She has a fucking multi-million dollar company, and all I have is fucking lava to die in, and you know what? I wish I could fall in there. I swear to God. Wow. That is not wavy at all. It's just fuck. Maybe it's because I have water effects turned off. Maybe I should turn them on. Fuck you, mushroom. You know what? I'm gonna fucking throw grenades at mushrooms. That, not because I need to to survive this room, but just because it makes me feel better to know that I'm throwing a grenade at a motherfucking mushroom. Um, so I actually was reading the Steam forums for this game, and uh, these are apparently fungi, which I guess a mushroom is, but... Nope, they're fucking mushrooms. It's, it's wrong. They're wrong. Developers don't know what enemy they made. It's a fucking mushroom. It's fucking adorable. I want to touch it. It touched me with its fucking charming face. Like that movie, uh, what it fucking old yeller. Char fucking touched me. Especially when he died. Fucking hate old yeller. I hate everything. I don't even know why I'm recording right now. I should be like fucking in, in, in fucking therapy. Like just talking about all the issues that I don't have and fucking but you know like rich people that's all they do that's all we do right we fucking we, we just start oh electric bitch fish yay uh yeah we just start talking about something and then like just say oh life sucks when in reality it's like I got twice as much money in one day as you will in your entire life while at the same time like you know basically saying like oh well it's okay money isn't everything like who the fuck am I kidding if I didn't have all this money, then literally all I would have is fucking Ziggurat, and I'd be probably be a pirated version because I couldn't afford the goddamn game. And, and then at that point, what? I'm making fucking videos trying to get YouTube likes to fucking what? Like, buy myself some more of that shitty Wendy's? But, you know, no. We have money, and now we're just being fucking ungrateful. That's, that's, that's what we do. We're fucking rich people. I fucking hate rich people. Oh, no, no, no. Reduces the amount of damage you take, which I don't think does really anything, but whatever the fuck. I want to find a fucking amulet! You know what, maybe barrels have an amulet. Or, or health, or, you know, shotgun ammo, because we've definitely acquired a shotgun, right? No, we haven't. Okay, so we found the key. We know where the boss room is, but I'm gonna go keep exploring, because... 
Assuming we beat this boss, this will be floor three that we're moving on to, and that's where I always die, um, and I don't want to die. I actually want to see the end of this game, which it does have an ending, there's five floors. And, don't worry, after I beat, after I finally beat the game, which, you know, probably won't be here in all honesty, but after I finally do, we're not gonna stop this let's play, we have like, thousands of items to unlock, millions of room combinations to explore, more money, more prizes, like, it's gonna be a long fucking series here. Um, let's see, kill, 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 okay, well, we can't level up for sure, because we don't, well, we have one more route, well, I have four, oh, yeah. I want to say everything at once, and I want you guys to fucking know what I want to say, so I don't have to say it, because that would make this a lot easier. What I'm trying to say is we have a couple more rooms to explore, uh, or we have the boss room. I'm going to go for these rooms. If I die, I die. That's too bad. So sad. Should have been taller. Could have been a baller. That's not going to be enough to level up. That's a scroll. Oh, I should probably get to reading those at some point. Um, yeah, so we've explored the entirety of this dungeon, and... Um, Right now, we're gonna go fight the boss with 44 HP and a little... Uh, well, I, all, <laughs> I hope it's fucking Queen Amanda. For fuck's sake, give me Queen Amanda. I will fuck that bitch so hard, the next time she spawns, she'll be spitting fucking pink acid. Uh, well, time to put my money where my mouth is, I guess. Okay, so, as mentioned before, the trick with her is to not lose her. Wh which I just did. I just lost her. Wait, which one is her? Where is the real cool, the real Queen Amanda? Please stand up. There she is, okay. Um, these grenades are fucking, the fire rate on them, just throw it, motherfucker. It's fine, look, come on. I will fucking hit her so hard. Yeah! I don't know why things are still firing at me. The boss is dead, wake up, game. Keep up with me here, I know I'm too fast. Fast on my feet. Um, White Orb gives me half my health points back, which brings us to full health. I still have some grenades, but I decided that full health was more important than grenades that I would probably just fuck up and miss with. Anyway, we're moving on to floor three. Fucking thank God. With any goddamn luck, we'll fucking find some fucking chicken sandwiches that aren't ass. I got an achievement. I don't care. Oh, this is our second time with the Undead Scepter, which fires fast, doesn't use a lot of mana, and basically does no damage. But, well, actually it's doing okay against the fucking Queen Amanda Horse here, but that's, that's their new name, Queen Amanda Horse. These rooms are looking a lot more threatening than the level floor 2, and not just because of the enemies, but the aesthetics, like the visual, like look at this shit, I'm fucking scared right now. Are you fucking scared? We're in a dark castle with floating banshees. That spit cum, cum, comedic, cum, cum, they're spitting acid cum, god damn it, that's fucking scary, okay, so there we go, we killed everything, except for the one we didn't kill, now we've killed everything except for the other one we didn't kill, now we've killed everything, everything, I could stop going on with this, um, yeah, so, fucking 67 HP, uh, is this room gonna threaten... To end my run? Of course it is, because these massive spitting dodos are acidic, which makes... Oh my goodness! Okay, okay, here, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stay on the top of the stairs so they can't get to me as easily. We're gonna, we're gonna kill that guy. Okay, now we're gonna chuck grenades at these fuckers. Oh, fuck me! Why does there have to be acid spitting dodos? Why, why do there have to be because it's my life, that's why, alright, that's fine, got both of them, got, got both the things that spawned, throw it, come on, good grenade, good grenade, yeah, there we go, okay, so, a little bit of progress, <coughs> probably, and by probably I mean maybe, got some more ammunition for this little scepter fucker, got the portal key, so we could go fucking bum rush the boss, assuming I can find it, but, I'm not even sure if I've ever... Ooh, this might help us level up. Yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, reduces the amount 
fills your mana pools, leaves your health at 50. No, thank you. We're going to reduce the amount of damage we take. I don't even know if I've fought the boss of the third floor yet. The, the, the boss is spawned randomly, so it doesn't matter. But I'm sure that floor one can only spawn, you know, this kind of, like, Queen Amanda and that flame guy or you, whatever. You, you see what I'm trying to say. There's the, Floor one will never spawn the last boss of the game. And, you know, vice versa. But here, here we go. This, these fucking things. Oh wow, they uh, they ignite the floor with their shots. Usually, uh, the other versions of these guys, the ones that walk around, they just fucking uh, they they shoot those fireballs, but they don't end up igniting the whole floor, which which is uh, a lot more helpful. I'm probably gonna die here. Okay, so let's use my deductive powers. I have to kill the fucking dodos, but that doesn't really mean much unless I can kill these guys. Come on! Oh, oh wow, we're we're out of we're out of stuff. We're out of we're out of grenades. Let's use this scepter and pray. I think there's a secret room there on the left. That's why that's glowing red. We can't obviously access it because we have to finish clearing out this room which I might actually survive oh yes I did okay excellent um I did not expect to make it out of that is that a secret room yeah that's a secret room and here we have a new perk increases your alchemy mana pool oh oh and wool released on 2009 for the 360 lovely sheep herding puzzle game with hazards and dangers along the way our first commercial flop probably due to the game genre and look. Um, I don't recall anything about that game actually. I swear I've played it. I've played all of Milkstone games, but I really don't remember that one. Um, they say it was their first commercial flop. I believe them. If I don't remember a game, there's a problem. But then again, when I go to like sign my signature sometimes, when I, you know, I buy like a dildo or something. Oh shit, we have one HP! Well... I buy a dildo at the store and I go to sign and it's like, what's my name? <laughs> Anyhow, we made it kind of far. I'm really happy I survived that one room. I still have 365,000 points, which is way more than your bank account has right now. Unless you're rich like me, in which case, congratulations, but you're fucking ugly. Let's see what we've unlocked. Shuffle. Discard all your current weapons and gives you new ones. That'll be useful because I want to fucking try new weapons other than the three we've been stuck with forever. Persistence. Enemy drops take longer before they disappear. Um, I don't know how useful that card is because 50% increase on time the things stay on the board was part of the one of the later updates, or the last updates I should say, so we'll see. Uh, cleansing. Infinite mana until you get hit. Oh my god, I want that for the motherfucking... Yes. Magma Rifle. Shoots high speed explosive pellets. Oh, pellets. <laughs> Prepare to wreak havoc among your enemies. That is good. That's, and that's, that's how fitting. That was the last thing we unlocked on that run. Let's go to the menu. Let's go to the armory. Let's see what we're doing here. Look at all these things we've unlocked. We, we, th I really do think there should be like a blank out of blank, like for how many we've already unlocked. But as you can see, uh, I'm not sure if the colors mean anything. I guess I can figure it out, yeah. Because the weapons, weapons are blue, maybe? I, I don't know, but as we can see, we have a shit fuck load more of go. A shit fuck, shit fuck load more of go. Yep. Anyway, I'm going to go, like, throw up that Gouda chicken I just fucking ate, so. <laughs> thanks for watching. Have a good one. Because I won't. Fucking Wendy's.